Okay then, so here we are at um, Retro Reunited. This is one part of the room. Basically, all the other games are over on the other side, but this is mainly devoted to the Acorn. It's called Acorn World. As you can see, there's a lot of great systems. Just around here, there's some um, Chucky Egg. I should know what that is, but I don't. <laughs> Jetpack. Basically, they've just had a power cut. They've just had a power cut on the other side, so um, luckily this side is still up and running. So someone's playing Pac Mania there on the BBC. Again, you know, one of the, one of the great things about these things, these events, is that everybody has literally, they've all donated their own stuff. They, they've all brought it in off their own back, and it's just ab absolutely impressive. So here's um, a selection of games. I'm not sure if these are. I think these are available for sale. Wrapped on free. Lords of the Rings. So look, I mean, I've never even seen. I mean, look how funky those cases are. So that's um, that's pretty damn cool. There you go. Stuff for sale. So yeah, I mean, the great thing about these events is you just never know what you're going to find. In fact, there's an actual. If we look over here, there's a there's a robotic arm. So let's check these out. So there's some nice, really nice art. There's there's the elite art. Revs one of Greg Jeff Crowen's early games. And here we have a robot to start. It's quite mental. It'll be on YouTube, yeah. And he's using that to pick up um, a little Rubik's. Right, now you, you know you've got to actually make that Rubik's cube. <laughs> Look at that, that's amazing. So we've got, we've got quite a collection actually, there's, there's a rather large one there, another small one, let's, um, let's give this a go, right, so, let's see, can I make it move, what's that, ah oh, right, that's, Apparently I've got to use the buttons, that's why I'm not having any joy with it. I was, I'm still not having any joy with it. Have I turned it off? It may, it may have uh, reset itself. Probably has it been. Look at that, oh, that's amazing. Look at that emotion. Oh, and there goes the Rubik's Cube. Hello, Mr. Drury. I didn't think you were coming. You couldn't... You couldn't um, you cut the ribbon. You, uh, sort of, yeah. You couldn't resist it, could you? You had to, Absolutely. you had to come along. Yeah. Nice. Look at this. Don't know if you can see that, but obviously one controls the elevation, one controls the jaws, and more for wrist rotation. So where have um, where have these come from? And um, what do you tend to use them for? Is it is it just to, is it just like as, as like a history lesson or? Yeah, it's, it's just for fun. I, mean, I write programs to control them, and so prepare them, and sort them out. Just like they're moving. And um, I mean they're, they're fascinating machines. And I mean, is there because I don't really know much about these. So how are, how are they like put together and stuff? Because there's obviously a lot of mechanics involved. So yeah, the original designer must have been slightly mad to, to produce something like this because it's such a weird machine. That's why I like it. It's so peculiar. Yeah, that's certainly um, rather immense beast as well. Yeah. I look at it. It's like, it's like something out of a 1980s horror film. Yeah. There we go, yeah, look at this. So the real question is, can you actually solve the Rubik's Cube with it? No. <laughs> Everybody asks me that. The answer is no.
So we can see the control it will be an operator this is running off a ribbon cable by the looks of it. So delicate and precise, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we got a post for the camera, mate. <laughs> So there we go, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it's fairly quick when it wants to be. Nice, brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic. And you've got quite a few Rubik's Cubes in there as well. So he's been very busy this morning. Right, let's go and have a look at some other stuff. Thanks very much, mate.